Hi, I'm Tana. And I'm Jen. Choosing the most appropriate eye gaze system can be challenging. With a range of different options on the market, it can be tricky to know which ones to choose. Each system has its own features and benefits, which means there'll be no one system that's the best option for everyone. When selecting a system for an individual or for a group of students to use in a school, it's important to think about the features that are needed and then compare systems based on those needs. The setup of an eye gaze system involves some key components. The hardware, which may include the eye gaze camera, the computer, tablet or communication device and any required accessories. The software associated with the eye gaze camera's functions and any software required for communication and other tasks. One or more mounting systems may be needed for optimal positioning. Training and support required for setup, use and implementation can be another key component to consider when choosing a system. The SET framework is one tool that can support the team around a student or group of students to gather information and inform decisions about the features that will be needed. This includes information relating to the student themselves, the environments that they're in, and the tasks they may want or need to complete. It's important to remember that eye gaze might not be the only access method used by a student. Different tasks may be better suited to different access methods or tools. For example, a student may use iGaze technology to access communication page sets and some learning software. They may use a switch to access some toys and appliances. They might use partner-assisted visual scanning to access a low-tech communication book. Considerations relating to the student or group of students could include their vision, positioning needs, communication skills. Considerations for the environment could include the knowledge, skills and confidence of those around the student and the support that might be required. It's important to consider the physical environments the system will need to be used in, how portable or flexible it would need to be, or whether multiple positioning options might be required. This might also include the equipment or the technology that's available. Considerations for tasks which might be important for students could be varied, but they might include games and leisure, communicating with the people around them, accessing particular learning activities or computer functions. It can be important to consider tasks which are relevant to the student now, as well as those that might be needed in future. Keep in mind the guidelines and requirements for any funding pathway that will be used. The information gathered can be used to support a funding application. If the iGaze system will be used as a communication aid, the matching persons with AAC technology model can provide additional support in identifying important features, with the student's language needs as the primary component. Feature matching or selection guides are also available on some supplier websites. When the necessary features have been identified, they can be used to compare the different technology options available along with the costs involved. The National Equipment Database can provide information about a range of iGaze hardware, software and mounting systems available, along with links to their suppliers. It's recommended you trial the iGaze systems you're considering to make sure they meet the students' needs before moving forward with purchase. It's also generally needed to be able to access funding. A range of iGaze systems are available for hire through ILCWA's hire department or through the suppliers directly. Suppliers each provide different options for support. ILCWA also offers options for tailored training and support for schools or individuals to implement iGaze technology.